Okay, let's see. We have a time for healing. Balsamic moon. I'm thinking of balsamic vinegar, which you have with vegetables, not vegetables, with um, salads, which is making me think of the purple, the root vegetable. So yeah, for some of you, there's a strong message here that this is a good time for healing and maybe balancing out your third eye. Um, also, look how much purple we have in this card. So I don't know if... Sometimes you might ask yourself, how do I know if it's my intuition or anxiety or... Um, doubt, fear, the ego. If you're feeling that, maybe in general or on a specific topic and you can't get clarity, this is a good indication that it's a good time to just, you know, heal, clear your mind, try not to figure out, is it intuition or the ego just yet? Try and get grounded and balanced first. Okay, what else please, what else? <clears throat> We have a new start is coming, new moon. I feel like it's something you don't see. The answers you need are coming, full moon in Gemini. So you, you could be getting unexpected communication. Um, I'm noticing how the, the twins, their faces are facing away from each other. Some of you could be in a twin flame connection or high vibrational soul connection, and you might be having communication with this person sooner than you expected. Um, it feels like they're reaching out to you because the answers are coming to you. Um, or if, you're, if you are in communication, you could be getting answers about um, you know, something you've been wanting to know or a conversation that's been like a no-go area, you could get to have that conversation soon. Okay, so let's keep these out and let's see where we go with tarot. This doesn't have to just be romantic. It could be there's a new start maybe in um, work possibly or something to do with a home. Um... It could also be if you go into this healing and get a sense of clarity, it's like, oh, okay, this, this is, these are my true thoughts about a certain situational topic. Now I can see clearly how to move forward and you're bringing in this new start and it's almost like things start coinciding, coinciding for you once you have that clarity in the way that, you know, happens and you get some sort of answer that you've been needing. But it's, you know, you're not a vibration to this clarity just yet if your thoughts are sort of clouded or a bit confused um, at this time. Or if you spent just, you know, maybe you just spent too long thinking about something and um, your brain needs a rest to sift through all of the information and the ideas, that sort of thing. Okay, so what other messages do we have, please, for the collective spirit? Page of Cups reversed. Yeah, okay, it's starting to look like this is taking shape around some kind of a communication um, that you're wanting to send or to receive. But the message here is you're not currently actually in the vibration. You might be more in the vibration of the problem or the silence or the no communication, which is natural if that's your current reality, but that's going to match you up with more no communication, you know? So maybe, um, just sort of re-watching your favourite manifestation videos, Law of Attraction, that sort of thing, might, might be a good boost at this time. But the Page of Cups has shown up, so this message or communication is around. It is available. And I don't think it will take too much of a shift to line up with it. We have the Five of Wands reversed. Be careful of people around you who might be offering their opinion, um, whether it's well-meaning or not, but it might just be adding to your confusion. Um, it's almost like you may have started with clarity around something. Other people start saying, have you considered this? Have you thought about that? And then you, your clarity starts to weaken, you know, a little, because you're trying to be logical and sensible and consider everything. I think maybe it's not a time to be logical. It's a time to follow passion. You see how we've got this one guy who's holding the stick, this wand up in the air, and it's you know it's making me think, of course, of the Ace of Wands. Um, so it's like one idea, one impulse stands out above the rest. So um, don't think you have to overanalyze it or think about it. Just follow the feeling. Okay. Yeah, Six of Swords, go for it. Forward movement. Um, we have a card that fell on the floor and my phone has, my phone has, I just received a message. So there we go. <laughs> you know, a message coming in. Um, if I can get this card, what is this? Six of Wands. So we've got two sixes. Yeah, for some of you, there's clearly um, a deep 
sort of soul connection we're looking at here we've got suggestions of twin flames six can be the number of the lovers um if we think of soulmates like the six of cups which i know we don't have but um <clears throat> The number six in tarot, generally speaking, is that number of divine love. So six of swords, six of wands, exactly. If you move forward on this wave of passion, whatever this is about, you will find success. Um, it might seem impulsive, it might seem crazy to other people, but that's only because it might, it's like you get this hit of knowing of intuition and you follow it, you're not doubting it, you're not doing a million years of planning. Um, but they're not the one who had that download, that impulse, so it seems surprising, it seems sudden, unexpected, but they're not able to feel into it how you can. Um, I actually feel this is something you've already had this impulse or this download around, and it's about getting back to that place of that pure knowing and passion and almost releasing all of that overthinking. Um, or being logical and sensible and, you know, considering this factor and that factor. Okay, what else? And look again, we've got all this purple here. Maybe as well, you know, the third eye, trust that you can see the truth of a situation, um, even if it doesn't logically make sense to other people yet. It will manifest. Ten of Swords. Yeah, thoughts right now, too much thinking is going to be the undoing of this opportunity um i also feel this communication this answer this message that's coming in it could be very healing after perhaps a painful ending or it might bring about a new start with someone a new cycle a new opportunity oh six of cups there we go exactly we have six 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 don't be alarmed you know? <laughs> have a look see what that means um if you feel inclined please go ahead and you know copy paste into the comments what you find um but yeah, there we go, Six of Cups, exactly. A deep knowing, a deep soul connection. So with it being paired with the Five of Wands reversed, I really feel if there's background noise, background chatter about a connection you have with someone, um, ignore it. It's safe to proceed. And people might be saying, but you've just met them or you know, you've not spoken in such and such a time. Why do you still feel connected? Because I'm looking at the smog and the smoke in the background. You know, it's kind of ruining this nice scene here between these two. And we've got the nature with the flowers again, more purple over here. Um, and down here, actually. So ignore, ignore the background noise. You know the truth here. These three sixes are no coincidence. Okay. And Six of Cups can talk about reconciliation. So yeah, okay. Let's see, what else? We have the Tower reverse Scorpio. Yeah, this is reversed. I feel this, this idea, it's not something you're waiting for. I think it's already come in and you may have sort of talked yourself out of it. Um, it, even if it's not a person, even if it's not a love situation, which I think for many of you it will be, it could be something you, you love or are passionate about or you could fall in love with, like a project or if you're thinking of making a, a career transition, um, trust in that feeling, trust in that knowing. And, you know, it could even be with the Six of Cups. Let's say you currently work as... Um, I don't know, a doctor, but you have this really strong connection with gardening and you think for some reason you would run an amazing business, you'd be an amazing gardener, you do wonderful landscaping, um, but you've had absolutely no experience, you don't even watch gardening shows, you have no friends who garden, nothing, but you have this real conviction. It could even be because in a past life you were very good with nature and plants and you were a gardener or something like that. There's a feeling of just knowing, I know this innately, and if I trust that knowing, this will lead to incredible amounts of joy and success. And everyone will see my success and go, huh, I guess you were onto something. But if I listen to my logic, if I listen to what other people are saying, sure, it makes no sense. Okay. We have justice in the reverse, Libra here um yeah the lovers in reverse another number six i have to say in moving forward and finding this success some people might fall away and that's i suppose how you get to know who's really rooting for you and who you know misery likes company and all of that i'm not saying you are miserable but it's all it's like who doesn't want to see you ascend not because they want to keep you down but they it makes them think about themselves and where they would like to be and the work they would need to put into that and it's easier to moan 
and try and keep you down than work on themselves and, and self-reflect. So some people might fall away, but it's not really a bad thing because it's not a strong connection anyway that I, I feel is really serving you or them. Um, it, I'm just, I just feel someone might see your success as being unfair, you know, like a whiner. Oh, it's unfair that you have this or that. It's not unfair. You know, you took the leap of faith. You put the work in. It's just the logical outcome of, of dedication and effort, you know? So if anyone's grumbling like that, they will fall away. Um, the lovers in the reverse, a big decision, a big choice that's being made, a big life decision. So this reading really, whatever this is around, romance and love, career, starting a passion project that could potentially get expensive and you're thinking, is it reckless because I've had no experience, whatever it is, Spirit's encouraging you to make this decision and move in that direction and really commit to it. Don't look back. And, you know, depending on what this is, you might need to, to make this big move, but do it in a practical way. OK, great. Maybe you can't take all the steps at once, but at least commit to to doing this and go for it um, and usher in this new start. And you will find that as soon as you do, things will start syncing up and your next steps, next steps will become very clear. Um, we have Gemini energy here with the lovers. <clears throat> There's really, really something going on about twins, twin flames or high vibrational soul connections that really encourage both people in the connection to look at their shadows, to heal, to grow, challenging connections. Um, I even wonder for some of you if in the past you have had some kind of success or you could be experiencing success now and your twin or your soulmate is, is or has almost experienced a feeling of jealousy or feeling like they're left behind or something whether you know about it or not but that message doesn't feel that strong or clear <clears throat> okay so let's see what else let's see where else we are going with this anything else continuation any other messages what do my viewers need to know what's the message for the collective please I'm also just looking now, we have a new moon and then we have a full moon. So yeah, I do think in some cases, this new start, this new venture, this new beginning might mean with the full moon releasing certain people um, and that will happen organically. Okay, what else please, what else? We have the moon, Pisces, another sort of full moon there. We have the three of cups. And we have the empress, Taurus and Libra. Okay, so what's up ahead that you might not see currently is um, just, just a new community of people, um, you know, connecting with people who are like-minded, which makes sense if you're putting yourself out there and connecting with new clients or friends or peers. Um, again, incredible amounts of success with the Empress. There really is for someone a gardening connection or something about beautifying the environment. I don't know if it's um, interior design, as I said, landscaping could be something around fashion, could be um, like beauty, hair and makeup, that sort of thing. I saw the nail varnish earlier, so maybe it's nails. Um, but I almost feel this empress has like a, not a harsh edge, but like a direct logical edge. So it could be helping people, but almost like with a firm attitude. So it's not necessarily patting people on the back and saying they're there don't worry it's like right well we can sort this out and we can do this and that but um you know you need to let me know what you think blah 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 you know like come on wake up <laughs> move um and that could be partly because of the experience that you have had or you're about to have which is very self-motivated um and you want other people to find that uh, courage and self-empowerment as well um okay Let's see. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, so much abundance. <clears throat> We've got the Seven of Swords reversed. I'm just going back. I feel like there was one more message with this. Keep slipping away. 
Um, if you are worried that if you move forward with someone in a romantic way, maybe your friends might stop talking to you or family. Um, I actually think you will find a, a new community. Maybe it's going to be your person's family and friends. Um, you know, who will feel like your family. Um, there was something else though. I don't know. I almost want to keep going on about different ways of beautifying things, but we all know, you know, what those, those could be examples. Um, so I don't need to keep going on about that. Okay, and then we have the Hermit, Virgo. What's on the back? The Six of Wands. Six of Wands again. Yeah, okay, so I'm seeing a repeated message here. Move forward with whatever you feel um, strongly about and you will find success. But just know you might find that it's a solo journey for a little bit, you know, because people around you are kind of startled. It seems sudden, it seems left field. Um, but there's, there's honestly, there's no point trying to explain this to them because maybe there isn't any logic to it. It's just this intuitive feeling you have. It's better to just get on with it and let them see how well it works out for you. Um, for some of you, you could be looking at, you know, work, career or where you live and you want to make a big, big change. Maybe you want to move from somewhere that's freezing to somewhere that's absolutely boiling, but ordinarily you don't even like the heat. Um, it could be career, you know, you're in a really good, stable position, but you're very unfulfilled and you feel this intuitive nudge to be um, self-employed or to just have a different way of life. I don't know... I mean, I think there are places like this, you know, especially like off-grid off places where you're not... You know, you, you sort of live off the land and maybe you, you live close to other people and you all have your different tasks and life keeps moving in that way. It's not about I've earned so much money and now I can buy this. Um, so maybe you feel inspired to move from a very, um, you know, work that's very much in the capitalist matrix into more like of an off grid lifestyle. And people are like, what? But you love your, you know, your luxury and your weekly massages and whatever else you know but um you just know it's the the logical right next step well not logical but intuitively right next step okay so basically yeah as i said whatever this is there's a strong feeling of love and romance um could definitely be lifestyle work you know hobby whatever as i said whatever it is go back to that initial spark and follow that momentum through don't Try, you know, try not to get stuck in this overthinking or if you've become stuck in it, do a meditation, ground, get back to zero, um, find that impulse again and this time just follow it directly and as soon as you align with that, everything will start lining up and changing for you um, and if you're in a position where you need communication from someone or answers about something or a response, that will come in for you. Okay, so let's get some guidance and advice. <clears throat> we have, look, see, positive thinking. Are you kidding me? And look, she's gardening. So yeah, something about gardening, but also, of course, she's watering her thoughts, the positive thoughts. Um, in the garden of my mind, I water the good thoughts and weed out the bad ones. I throw in forgiveness and empathy seeds by the handful if I want, and I take a lawnmower to, ah, to that jealousy and resentment patch. I'm a pretty badass mind gardener. So I think the empathy and forgiveness might need to be for other people who've given you their input, whether you've asked for it or not. And I do think the possible jealousy and resentment is either going to be from other people who you end up leaving behind or possibly from someone who feels that maybe you've sort of already left them behind a bit. But as I said, that's a weaker message. Um, so there we go. Definitely gardening, food, maybe healthy eating's even a thing. Um, but yeah, positive thinking. Don't let yourself get in this spiral or get yourself out of that spiral of um, doubts. And, and then, you know, as I said, it's very hard to hear. Is this is this fear and worry or is this my intuition? I don't know, I can't sort them out. Um, okay, let's get one more, one more card here. Guidance and advice for the collective, please. Okay, we have two. <clears throat> Don't take it personally. If someone starts to speak unkindly to me, I'll remember that they've got something going on that has nothing to do with me. Like maybe they just poop their pants. <laughs> yes, that's probably it. Most likely, people often poop their pants. <laughs> Okay, um, Sanctuary, good for you. It seems you've earned some time away from the chaos of life. Um, it could be as small as a bubble bath or as big as a trip, or maybe it's a small trip to a big bubble bath. 
or a normal sized trip to a tiny bubble bath, or maybe you tripped and fell in someone's bath. Whatever it is, it's waiting for you with open arms. Just pick your favorite san- just pick your favorite sanctuary and unplug for a bit, especially if a bath is involved. Yeah, so it is involved, my goodness. I mean, bath aside, something is waiting for you and all you've got to do is, is choose it internally and commit to it um, with your thoughts and your emotions. And that's it. Things will line up. You'll know the next steps to take. And I feel like it's been waiting for waiting here for you all along or, or waiting for some time. But there have been complications, um, overthinking, you know, your logic stepped in as it does. Um, yeah. Okay, also just to say, you could be wrestling with yourself because you might have tried to explore this before, particularly if it's one of those difficult soul connections and you're thinking, all I've experienced is pain, or maybe not all, but a lot of pain and it ended in pain. Should I even try again? Should I crush this impulse I'm feeling to take action or to feel connected to this person again? It doesn't seem logical, but again, there's something here where your logic is just slowing you down. Your intuition knows, you know, the real answer. Um, because it could be, yeah, it ended badly before, but both people have grown, learned, changed, adapted their behavior, so it won't go that way again. If it was a venture you started, you definitely know what doesn't work now, so, you know, you're more experienced in that way. Uh, yeah, you get the gist. Okay, so I hope there were some messages here for you. I uh, hope it resonated. Thank you for watching and I will see you on Monday. Uh, on Monday I'll be doing a reading looking at a person you have in mind, you know, their thoughts and feelings, true intentions, action, messages for you, that, that sort of thing. Okay, so I will see you then. Bye.